Here's a handy tool I use quite often. Well, well, since I work at a school district, it, uh, when I have to remote into computers, usually I'll try to remote in using Microsoft's RDP. Uh, but the problem with that is when I remote into a computer, it will log off the current user that's sitting physically at the computer and it'll lock the screen basically and, and they can't see what I'm doing. Sometimes I want to use, I want to be able to just log right into the, or remote into the console session. Basically so they can see me working on their computer or I can see what they're doing. That way I can help them and show them what's going on. One free tool I use, I, I use a couple tools at work, but one I've used uh, quite a bit is called Gen Control. You'll see here, I just put it up on the top because I use it quite often, but click on it. It's real lightweight, real small. You don't have to have, it's basically a, it's, I think it's based off a of type VNC, but the cool thing about it is you don't have to physically install something on that remote computer, such as the server portion. You just run it here on your computer. Um, here's a list of computers that I've recently gotten into. And here's Tyler's PC. It's on. I'm going to go ahead and remote right into it and see what's on his screen. So I just double clicked it. And there it goes. This is Tyler's computer. This is my stepson's computer. Um, and right now, if he was sitting at his computer, he would be able to see the mouse move and whatnot. So that's kind of cool because then you can help people out and um, you know try to assist them when they need it. So go ahead and close it out. And close that out. Another one is, I don't have set up here, I do have it set up at work, it's uh, the default one that you can use with the support section. There's kind of a trick to doing it though. We got into the code and um, it's just some HTML code I think. And uh, the cool thing about it is you can send like a request to the end user saying, hey, so-and-so wants to remote on your computer, and then you can do a little chat session whatnot. It's, it's pretty nice. So in a, in a corporate environment, it works quite well. You can, there's, there's some other ones that I think I've talked about in the past called TeamViewer. That one I use when I'm uh, trying to help someone over the Internet. But if it's a local network, I'll first try to RDP into it unless I have to show them what I'm doing or see what they're doing. And in that case, I'll use gen control. So, hope that helps. Peace.